Welcome back to Shapes 2. My name is Nilas and we are back here with our glorious base. Look at the beauty of this. There we go. There's another train coming in, unloading a ton of these shapes. And that is just raking in. Look and see here. That's a full train, 4,000 more inbound. They're unfortunately coming in just right after each other. Uh, there's a. It would be nice to have a little more control of trains, but I'm sure that's going to be there in a future update. So um, the cool thing about this is that this is just increasing in incredibly fast and we just i've been uh, preparing for this episode and these are just coming in so damn fast so we now have a lot of platform units we actually have a lot of research points as well and i've done nothing but just look around for preparation for stuff that we want to do today so what are we going to do today well today will be a introduction to a new train system that i really really like for completing milestones no not milestones uh, for completing tasks because tasks need to be built and then thrown away. So it would be nice that we don't have to spend so much time on finding the shapes. Uh, this might be easy to find these shapes here. But for this shape, yeah, no, no chance you're really going to find those sort of weird shapes. Okay, they're not that weird. But that shape, definitely not. And plus, they're going to be uh, changed uh, from time to time. So uh, from iteration to iteration. So you can't expect to find these shapes. So what do you need? Well, there are only four basic shapes, and uh, if we just look out here, I have been highlighting some basic shapes up here. Um, oh, that should not be a highlight. That one. Don't care about that. Only want basic shapes. Only want the clean ones. So stars and circles and squares, and the hardest one to find is the wedge. That is uh, a little more rare, at least in my setup. There's here, one here, and one there. So we got, we got a few, and... Um, that's all we need. Then we have the main line in here. I'll have one line in on each cardinal direction. And then we're going to zoom in a little bit. So this is going to be our build space. I have to build it out here. Um, and I'm just going to do just a little bit of delimiting. This is not intended to always be here. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to get some trains inbound. They're going to be coming in from the outside. and going to go in here. I'm going to build this as modular as I can possibly do. Then I'm going to get you in here. And back. Now, what is this madness we're doing here? Nope. There. There. I that does does doesn't work. There. And then out. Good. Right. So I will do on the inside. I will have a train station. One, two, three, and four. And that will have some unloading stations. Four, because I have four basic shapes. And on the outside, I will have also unloading stations. I will note these are loading stations. There. And a train station there. So these will be the three base colors. Not combining colors yet. So base colors here. And that's basically going to be the premise of this design. Is that we have, when we look at these shapes, they have a maximum of four levels, four levels, and a maximum of four different colors, uh, four different shapes, and three different colors. So if I bring the four different shapes, and the three different colors, and I make sure that I have this set up so that it is available for four different levels, then it's good. And that means I need to now be able to get this, this into these shapes here. Um, but if I am looking at this one out here like any one of these sort of base shapes here then what i can do is i can just take this and go like oh you're going to be in the second location so let's bring you into the second location uh, because i want it to be circle square star wedge that's just the, the way that it has to be so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the whole shapes in here in the, into a consolidation place and then i am going to split it out should i actually also do that for you for uh for the colors hmm no not really no nope, no nope, because I'll, i'm gonna use less colors for this so don't think i need to chop them all up on the other oh look at that it's already uh, completed another level so we, now we get 10 extra points which is in my opinion a little bit too much uh, it's very nice right now but definitely not something we need further on so what we're gonna do is we're absolutely going to do a train vortex done because that's super cool and then we're actually almost at the next one. So what I'm going to do now is... Oh. Uh, okay, they're coming in here. And once they're done being there, then I'm going to be taking all of this out. Then they don't have anything. Wow, that's uh, disappointing. 
Okay, but it's, it still has a little bit, and just go away with that one. They drive pretty slowly through this here, and mm, I can take that one. So basically what I need to do is, there. So now when they come in, they just bounce straight in there, and they'll just be allowed to empty whatever is remaining, but then when they come in next time, they will see them bounce in. Should we just wait until, it? yeah, we do want to see one bounce in here. Here we go, jump in. And that was a massive extra, there we go, it just went in with 8,000. Oh, 10,000, there we go, there was a little bit more on this one. So they come in quickly now, oh, bounce again. Unfortunately, they are a little bit, uh, and, and when they bounce in, they disappear, and then a new one spawns back at the origin. So they actually come in quite a lot faster now. And that also means I really don't need to have three because you're not really producing fa that fast. Anyway, we're back to this one. So that's cool. That is the a thing now, which also means, oh, by the way, that means uh, this can be done so much easier. So now they, all the trains are just bouncing in. There, another boost. Oh, I love it. Uh, that also just means that we don't really need all of these uh, shapes here, which is a little bit, a uh, little bit sad, I think. A little bit sad. Anyway, back to this. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take and set up mining operations for each of these, so that I have uh, 12 belts times four wagons coming in of each of these, and I'll get them into a location here. So I've now built this consolidation thing, and there's a little bit of uh, magic to this. And uh, since we have things that repeat in four, and we have four colors, it's kind of okay. So that's what we're going to do. Basically, we need to get in, and I said the very front one, this one, will be the circle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to use this control here. Click that one so it doesn't pop up every time. And I say, I want... The red one to go that way, and I want the red one to go that way because the red will, hmm, um, the red will be the circle, and then the green will be the next. Uh, the green, the green will be the square, and I want the square in the. Oh no, that's incorrect. Wow, one, one. Th I did one thing, and then I did it incorrectly. Oops, there, and then I do the green one. Green one will go down here, and then go in here. That's going to be second position. And then the star will be that color, and that will go into up here. So it goes up, and then it goes onwards. Yes. And then I'll have the white one. I'll get that down there and onwards. Because that will be the wedge. And then uh, the issue for me is, well, pretty simple. I need to jump in here. And then I have, a, have an idea, or there was someone who suggested it f to me, which I really like. Uh, I want the main line is... Uh, Never ever going to be uh, changing, but I kind of like the, the idea of when you jump, you jump over this. Um, there, right? And then you go and merge in. That means now there's a green connection for the squares. And where did I get the another one? Next one, here. So, we can see that that's coming in now, that's coming in, and these are coming in here. What are they going to do out here? Well, then I, again, I have another setup here, where they're just going to go straight down, but I actually want them to also go in here, and this is why I have four different colored trains. They don't really mean anything, but I just want to, I want to say, the first one will be serviced by that, the second one will be serviced by that, the third one will be serviced by that, and the fourth one by that. So that means we now have two trains here that service each of these stations because otherwise they would if they all went in here they would all go into the first one and try to oversaturate it this way it's going to be a little bit random which ones and they will eventually be saturated so what we have now is we have all these colors available or not the colors all the shapes available and what we'd like to get is basically do the same thing for colors so i don't need to consolidate it up here i'll just get them directly in Okay, so then now all the colors, one, two, and three, have been hooked up here. And I think I owe an explanation for this one, because this is expensive, like really expensive, like 552 expensive, crazy expensive. Is it really necessary? Well, the thing is, so uh, what, is, what my alternative could be was that there are two alternatives. One is 
that if I don't sort of consolidate it and then move it from uh, dedicated trains with each shape into other trains here, then then that would then otherwise I would be having to have my uh, trains that deliver here go back to all four of these to pick up a little bit from each, one wagon for each, and then go in. That would be a crazy amount of trains and a really long way because they'd have to go from all of them. The second objective is that I would have dedicated trains coming from here, but they would only input on the fourth position in this, this case, because that's the fourth position. So I'd basically have more stations here, but they would all be feeding into the fourth position. And then I just sent all the trains and they would not go through this one, but they would go straight through and in here. So I tried that. How, why does it not work? Think about it a little bit. The reason why is, of course, since I have would have like 20 of these white trains and 15 and something like that, I'd have a lot of trains. They would just can get congested because now there would have to be, for this, four trains that goes in here to unload. And they would just end up congesting and then leading back out here, which means the whole thing would just turn into congestion. So I have to make sure that there are as few trains as possible that go in here. And the answer is two. And there is room for both of those trains to be in here at any given time. So that's, uh, that's why I'm doing this. Uh, the color though is a little bit different because I can't really do that uh, in this case. So I have to uh, do this. There, come on, go up there. And there, good. And then I do the same thing here. And when we get to color mixing, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, we can either color mix here or we could get the, the base ones in and then mix it. There we go. Okay, so all of this was just the beginning. This was just so that we can actually set up. And what we're gonna do now is we are going to test it. And we're gonna test it with one of these and see how efficient or not efficient it is for us to build this. Now, granted, if you wanted to do that before, we would simply take uh, this shape and then just find that shape and color it blue. That's not how we do it now. We do it in a little bit more complicated way, but it's also one that makes it look a lot more like a factory. And I like factories. So the first thing we have is we, since we have all the things available here, we're going to take one of these little corner of that out. And remember when looking north, I have to make sure that they're rotated correctly. I'll just reiterate why I need to rotate it correctly because when this one and this one and this one, and this one, and this one are stack on top of each other, it's really important that they have the same rotation. So they could all be incorrect locations or rotations as long as they're the same incorrect location, but I can't keep track of that. So I'm just going to go like face north, always uh, rotate them. So they're facing north. It's all good. So what are we going to do? We are going to simply now going to be leaning heavily on the cool designs that we've done before. So for example, this one is cutting out a, a single tile and we're going to be putting that into uh, that one. Uh, nope. There. So this will output everything except one. And then we'll need to rotate it. Uh, that needs to be rotated. 20, 180. There. Then I have the right one. Then I'm going to go over to this location. And then I'm going to do a cut. That's one of the simpler ones. This one where we just cut one out. Let's see which one gets cut out. And that's actually exactly the right one. So now we need to merge it together. Doesn't matter which one goes up, up, down. Here. Then we have the final shape for this level. You're starting to see the point? I, I hope you are. Because even though I do more operations, they are not difficult. And then I need to get the blue color in. So I'm going to go over here. And we can drag it either way. I think I'm going to drag it this way. There. That is now going to be the final product that we have and we have our mm, that's the wrong way uh, in here as long as we just put it on this line it'll get back into circulation by itself so we just need a small station I think I have one of those small stations right um, tap tap uh, this is too big yeah let's uh Let's do it different. We can actually do it a lot smaller. And I want this train to be a white train because it's unmarked. There. And then I merge it in. 
And that good. Yep. All right. So let's see. Is this coming out as the shape that we want? Go, go, go. Looks perfect. And we just wait for this one to complete. The thing is, we can actually start working on uh, something else. We have a research point. So let's actually upgrade, 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 and upgrade. The reason why I upgrade all four of them at once, and we'll also wait until I have 180 again before doing that upgrade, is because they match up. And if I upgrade some without the other, then the whole uh, ratio just gets screwed up. And then I don't really get a lot of, of benefit out of it. You can kind of skip this painting one. Um, but I really want everything to work at the same rate. There we go. This is now up to 51. You can see this is getting in so much quicker that it'll fastly catch up to the other ones. We're still, uh, we're now getting to the point where we really don't have a lot of things that we need. We need 180 here, and then we also get like train speed. Mm, nice. What else do we need? Like a little bit bigger foundations might be something we want. Might want that one at some point. Wire basics. That's something we wait very long until we do, we get that. But the train speed and train capacity might be things we we want. Uh, sure, let's just get those. Right, we can, uh, while this is going in, that will definitely work. Then I can just take this one out. And you're going to go here. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Oh, I just deleted the train. All right, never mind. Um, we are going to be looking at the next one while I rebuild it. So that is, we need to remove a corner and... So that one is removing a corner, and this time we want to remove a corner from the circle. That's this one. And this one is coming out, and let me see. It's the top right-hand one. So this one also, surprise, surprise, needs to be rotated there. And then in this case, we are going to get a square. And then we need to isolate that square there. Which one does it get? It goes in the top right-hand one. Perfect. And this is everything but the top right. And lo and behold, it's just kind of the same repeat, repeat we already have. And I'm even going to take that coloring because we need it. Oh, this is funny. Why are you not getting in? Oh, you are. It's just slow. Um, then I'm going to get you in here. And then I'm going to get the green. have to make sure that we go out here. Oh, that was not. Uh, there, 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 and here, and then tab, go under, and in. Sweet. And then I take, <clears throat> yes, you're finally dividing. Don't, don't ruin it, don't ruin it. Oh, hold on. Um, then I, of course, need to put them on top of each other. So that's going to be the next thing. Which one goes on top of one? Uh, let's see. They go on top of, the new one here is going on top. Do we got it? There, and we are already working on the next, so. The green one goes on top of the blue, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this. Cut. Let's do, put it there. And you. Let's do that. And... From here. That's it. That gets taken out. And we have now, just as we completed it, we have now completed the next build. Let's have a look to confirm that it is working. That is exactly the shape that we wanted. So, again, just waiting now for 3000. And then we'll get the next. And now we have the full train going in. That should be 3,000. No, that's only 1,000. Ah, only 1,000. Um, let's see. So we get 1,000 and then we can start on the next one. Come on, show it to me. Ooh, is it not getting there? Oh, it is. Oh, 1,600. Perfect. All right, so we just need one more. Oh, right, we uh, did upgrade the train capacity. So, so they come in at 500, so that's why. Uh, so it's actually two of these trains. Um, no, you know what? I'll do that. Uh, so that we need to look at the next one. We can might as well look ahead. What do we need? We need a blue, which is a circle, and then a wedge in replacement. Well, doesn't that look like something we've seen before? We're going to start by taking a circle here. And in this case, it should actually be turning the right way. Yes. And then we need a wedge, which means we just need uh, the wedge cut out. Yes. And then we need a smashing together thing. 
But this one probably needs, oh, this not only probably, but it does need to be rotated. There, that's the rotate 180. And that gets us to the lower right hand corner. I mean, this, damn, this is so good. <laughs> I love it. And we got the right shape now. And now we just need to paint it blue. If only we had like a great way to paint things blue. Ooh, this blue is kind of iffy, isn't it? And I'm going to take this out. Cut. We'll put that over here just so that for a rainy day. Uh, why is this one not coming in with the blues? Um, I guess I'm just not really getting enough blues. It's still saturating the first one. And let's have a look at the blue color. There's a blue color here. There's a blue color here. Yeah, it's just probably too far away. But yeah, it's too far away. So we'll add a few more of these trains. There we go. Because they can definitely... Hold on. That's a weird train. Oh. There. Why? Fill up wagon. Fill up fluid wagon. Flu These. There. They have to be in only in third position. And then they'll come in here. That one's fine. Then it goes into the second one where it will fill up. I'm simply building too fast. And then this one also needs to be saturated. So there's one being emptied, another one standing here, another one, and then it needs one more here, and then it will get into the third one. So we're going to wait a little bit. Uh, it's not a big issue. It would, we can just we can just tell ourselves that because we're so damn fast that we're, we're simply outpacing this uh, the, the deliveries. Okay, so once we have this, then we're simply going to get it inbound, and then we're going to get it again as... I think I'll do it this way. Uh, you're going to be taken out and you'll be put in the right that position and this will be put on top and oh, this is what we need and I'm going to go bring it in and oops. I think this should work, but we're just missing the color. Oh, there we go. We got the first color coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is supporting. I was just not getting enough trains to really feed this okay so once we get that let's see if it works first train is being filled up and that is 1600 coming in so when the once the next train is being filled then it will get the the milestone completed since it's only 3000 we can just as well look at the next one so what do we need to do now oh look at that it's kind of something else because now it's a diagonal we want to get and then a wedge as well so a little bit different so we need to start finding a blueprint for a diagonal. Okay, uh, can I? No, I can't shift click back. Nope, that was not it. Uh, there, no. Too many, that one. I think this one is cutting. There, let's see. It's cutting, good. Then the question is, is it cutting the right one? Uh, yes, it is because it has to be that diagonal, which is exactly that diagonal. Nice. And then we will just take this part because we know we're going to need it. Oh, we got another milestone. Boom. Okay. We are increasing here and blueprint number six and there. So that should give us the shape that we need. Yeah, no, 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 no. Definitely not. Right? That's the shape we need. Got that. And I will now take out this part for later. Um, is that the shape we need? Yes, it is. Is it white or is it gray? It's gray. It's not colored. Okay, of course it's not colored white. So then I just need another one of these. And that has to go on top. Which means I'll do this part. Inbound. And we're going to take that outbound. And then it just forces in. You're going to be... No. This one. Put in here. That works. And merge it in. So that is pretty much, I'm sure. Let's actually see if we can see what comes out. I don't think it, oh, it can generate it. Does it look correct? 
Yeah, it looks correct to me. Yep. There we go. So, that's the next one already completed. Or, I'll, I mean, working at least. That is the first one leaving, and we are now ready. That should be the first 1600 coming in. And then we'll just let the other one go. Uh, then we're like, oh, now what's the last? Well, there is one more step. That's step number five. And what is that comparatively? Then look at this. It's the same shape, but everything changes color. So the first one gets green, the second one blue, and the third one green. So basically the ones that are green are now blue. Oh no, that's a nightmare. Nope, it's not. It's super easy. There is a barely an inconvenience. There we go. That's just it. And then I just take all of this. Remove all the colors, the color bits here, and all of this. Remove all the color bits here. That would make much more sense to build the other way, so we might as well take this out. Just Nope. Oops. Uh... Yep. And then all of that disappear. And that one disappears. And then all of this also disappears because I don't want it. Oh yeah, and we are totally complete. I was actually replacing it already. Whoops. Um, and then this one, the last one has to turn green as well. And then I remove everything on this belt. There. Remove everything here. Like that. That should make it clean. Uh, let's start. This The first level is coming in as green. Perfect. And then it's combined here. Let's see if there's any residuals here. There might be... That's a little bit of residuals that need to go. There we go. And nothing on this belt. This is now still coming out with blues. And it's the green one that gets pushed in. So the green is actually not doing so hot right now. And let's remove this and remove this as well. So there's no legacy there. And let me just check why the green ones are not coming in. I'm pretty sure it's just the travel distance and a little bit too far away. So we'll just add another train here. And by one more train, I mean two trains. There we go. That should do the trick. There's ten, definitely enough here. So just get it in. And yeah, well, there's enough to get it going. And here we get the combined shape. Let's see. It is uh, looks correct. And then... We'll just get this one on top, the green here. As the first train load comes in of the new shape, and we hope that it works, uh, then we can talk a little bit about the merits of this system. Like, it, it might be like, okay, this seems like an awful lot of the stuff that you're building for very little factory. Correct. First of all, it works. That is correct. However, now it's built. Uh, one of the advantages of this is that I can simply, once this milestone is completed, I can just do that take all of this out and then just start over with the next shape and that's really nice and i don't need to spend any time on going out and finding shapes that look somewhat like this uh, because what also happens i think this one is actually a good idea a good example um, if we look at it so it it then adds a little bit more and it adds a little bit more on top of it and some coloring but for example if we look at this the second level from the top is two red ones. But on the next one, suddenly there's more added to it. That can be really complicated under a lot of normal circumstances. Also, for example, this. Then suddenly one of the spikes on the lowest level is being colored. That can also be annoying because if you just manage to find this shape, now you need to cut that out to color it and put it back in, which is a little bit more complicated. But if for my case, when it changes, when something changes here, I have all the designs neatly laid out. And if I need to rotate something or I change the color or I add an extra step with an extra cut or an extra merge, it's always going to work. And there's this guarantee that if each of these blocks here, you is making one square or one level of the overall structure. I'm going to take that so the blinking doesn't get you, uh, make you go crazy. There we go. If I am... Um, um, yeah, for one level, then you will never consume more than one of these. There we go. We got it. Complete it. Nice. Um, that's a lot of points. Again, should we just do... Yeah, faster train speed. Yeah. So, 
the maximum this can consume is 36 lanes or yeah well 12 lanes sorry uh, 4 plus 4 plus 4 like this is the maximum it can consume because that would just imply that the whole thing would be a wedge or the whole thing that or the whole thing there so we as long as we can guarantee that we can provide this in here then we will know that we will never run out it, no matter what the shape is it's not like we're going to be in a shortage of any of the shapes um, that's really nice and, and convenient to know that uh, it's super easy the disadvantage is well it's going to be outputting with uh, 12 belts and that's it it can't do any more um, because of the constraint here and color mixing with something we'll have to do ourselves pin pushing crystallizing whatever that's something we'll have to incorporate we just get the basic stuff in here that's the intention at least we'll see how that goes uh, so when it comes to these these milestones i would say that it's advantageous for us to do as we did with this one where we build something big for the final shape and oh Oh, that's actually something I, I just said something that made sense. Oh, look at that. Because for example, I could do the first milestones here in my new design and then only do the final shape out in the world. Cause that would actually make it easier. I think because the change from these shapes to this is actually quite a lot. Yeah. But working on these uh, shapes here is, uh, is super convenient. And what we can do is we can also make it out here and then make it from either side. Technically, I would have one and two and three and four and five and six and eight of those around here. But do we have the inputs to feed it? It is expensive in terms of uh, our platform points to have this massive thing and all these things going in here. Because obviously, for example, in this case, I'm not using red paint at all for this, but I still have all the logistics set up for the red paint. But, you know, the next one might be more valuable when it comes to red paint. So I think this is amazing. This is uh, super cool. I should save. Okay, by the way, these ones are not necessary, but I kind of gotten used to them. So I'll waste the points on, on doing that because it kind of gives a nice little delimitation. Uh, so I will just be taking stuff like this one and then uh, making that into a blueprint. That is modular train station. I don't know. Should we call that? I don't know. It's probably a good idea. That will also be part of the Blueprint uh, library and that is of course available to Patreon supporters of the channel. So thank you very much for all the people or to all the people who are supporting me on Patreon and everyone who's watching and tagging and, uh, and liking and sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff and also commenting with good and bad ideas. Uh, some of, uh, there's just one comment about the stuff we built. We did a milestone last, uh, a task last time, uh, one of the previous episodes where I split it and then People were like, no, stack it, split it, paint it. But you can't paint multi-level. You can only paint the top level. So it was actually correct what I did. I just didn't explain it thoroughly. Cool. We also have jumping trains. So that is another cool thing. So that's where we end today. Next episode, I think we'll do color mixing. And then we'll do some design together to see if we can make a cool color mixing uh, blueprint. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.